just trying to stick to the game plan, what coach had uh, had us doing, honestly, uh, each each and every day before we even came in here. So uh, just honestly sticking to that and, and running them off the line, contesting their shots and stuff like that, and uh, just making it hard for them a little bit, just trying to deny and disrupt, and uh, just just multiple things, honestly. So definitely follow the game plan, and it was definitely a success. Definitely just trying to, I mean, the outside shot was definitely uh, not falling a lot, how it usually is. So definitely just going inside and just trying to uh, get the big some touches and, and just playing uh, – Inside out, honestly, so that definitely worked for us. So, honestly, it, when our shots not falling, we just try to rely on the bigs. And, uh, they always help us out. So, even on the defense and on the offense, uh, offense end. So, definitely a crazy one for sure. So, I'm actually dealing with an injury right now, uh, head flexion. So, uh, just trying to be out there and do whatever for my teammates. Honestly, uh, just trying to give it up, give it my all. Honestly, so uh, I didn't feel as I didn't feel so good. Uh, but just wanted to have a stronger mentality and, uh, for my teammates, just trying to go out there and do it, do it best I, as I can. So uh, try to come back in and, and just let the game come to me, honestly. I didn't want to try to uh, uh, just try to uh, get up shots, honestly. Just wanted my teammates to get comfortable and uh, just throughout the game, honestly, until I, I felt comfortable with, with uh, getting my body going. I thought it was like we all felt like disrespected. Because we were ranked number nine coming in because we were a young team. So I thought as though we had a chip on our shoulder. And again, what? No, I definitely piggyback of uh, what Ace said. Uh, definitely. Uh, uh, you know, coming in, young team. Uh, but just trying to have that chip on our shoulder, like Ace said. And just coming in, wanting to dominate and prove everybody wrong, honestly. And we still got a long way to go for sure. But uh, just definitely just wanting to prove everybody wrong, just coming in. But uh, like I said, a long way to go. And more people to prove wrong. So. You know, credit to Richmond. This is a great rivalry game. This is great for college basketball, and tonight was another one. You know, uh, it, you got to really prepare for Richmond in so many ways. They got a vet, veteran team, and you know, I, I just was, I was really proud of our guys how we competed during the game, and um, you know, we carried the game plan over. But probably more important than that, I thought we just played really hard to execute what we were supposed to do in the game plan on offense and then sit down and guard these guys. They have such an efficient offense. Just make it really hard for them. And, you know, for the most part, we knew they were going to make runs. We knew they were going to make plays. Uh, we had some, you know, some bonehead plays at times to give them the ball back. But I thought uh, for most of the game, we just made it hard for them, harder for them. And, and that was huge. So we had a lot of guys contribute. I thought we had some young guys that really played well. I thought they carried over the scouting report. Um, you know, we didn't have the, the last two days weren't great practices for us that the standard that I would like. So I was worried going into it, were, were we going to be ready? But you know what? These guys carried it over and they were ready and we competed. I'm really proud of them. Well, we're a little banged up, to be honest with you. Um, we're a little banged up. So, you know, we, I wanted to shorten the game a little bit. I also, I didn't want, if we were going to press these guys, I didn't want to, if we are going to exert these guys and have two, you know, great quick ball handlers to go score against it and just give them some easy ones early. You know, if they're going to score, they're going to earn it, which I think like, that was just a plan. And, you know, everyone's going to talk about our havoc and, and the way we press and we turn people over, right? I, I, you know, that's us. That's what we, but we also can sit down and guard people in half court and quarter court. And because of our defense at the rim, and we had seven blocks today, but a lot of other square ups and, and rotations at the rim and help the helper situations, we just made it hard for them. And, uh, you know, we didn't want them to make a lot of threes to beat us, and we, we had to defend at the rim. So we were going to extend our defense, and we did that, and I think that helped. Um, we got a couple things where we, you know, they, they got a little choppy getting their offense because they thought we were coming to press and all that stuff. but. You know, it's a cumulative effect, but it doesn't always have to be turnovers in the back court. Now, you know, we, we, we didn't get, we couldn't get enough possessions, on, you know, in our press, right, and turnovers, which always gives us extra possessions. So, you know, we really wanted to attack, get in the paint on them. We wanted to score at the rim and challenge them, get to the foul line. I think it's a bit of a good you know, formula for us, especially the last few games. And then, you know, rebounding. Not that we got a ton of offensive rebounds today, but we got some key ones, right? And then we just did a good job of limiting them. So, you know, look, we have guys that can make plays getting downhill and drawing fouls. That's huge for us. But I think the biggest thing is we got downhill and we really shared the ball and sprayed. 
he scored we had 26 baskets, 21 of them were assisted. That means we were playing the right way. Wayne, you've probably heard me say this. When you step on the court, nobody asks you how old you are or what grade you're in. We ask you either can you play or not, right? And I tell our guys that all the time. You got to step up and play. Now, the inexperience or immaturity at times comes in just learning the game and understanding the situations. You know, they're an older group. They've been through that. We're going through that now and sometimes on the fly, but we're getting better at it. The last four minutes of the game today was, was pretty good. We had two bad turnovers. Uh, we gave up one open three that they missed. Uh, but, man, earlier in the year, it was a lot more. And, and that that's, means we're carrying over late game situations from practice and timing score. And, and Ace sure helps out without a doubt. He kept the huddle tight. So just got to continue to get better at that. It says a lot about doing that against an older team. But, you know, you got to do that now to win games, win big games. So definitely our Army had a lot to do with it. I, a lot of guys contributed. I, I just thought everybody that went in locked in on the defense and the Court. And, that, and that's that's that cumulative effect. Now, you know, we didn't get crazy in the press, and you know, we they only had six turnovers, but you know, we we didn't let them get in their offense easy. We blew up ball screens. We guarded the ball and took away threes. You know, our our havoc occurred more at the rim, right? And uh, you know, that, and a lot of guys contributed to that. So I, I I definitely agree with you. Look, all our guys know they better be ready. They better be sitting in the on the edge of the seat instead of the back, because we're not afraid to put them all in. And, and you better be ready to call and help your team win. And I tell them they don't have to do anything special. They have to play really hard and impact winning. In that moment, whatever that play asks you to do, do it to the best of your ability, do it for your teammates. And that's how you help your team win. And, you know, that's the Army of Coach we want to have all the time. And, you know, they're a great defensive team. They have that uh, defensive statistics to prove it. Um, and I, I think uh, I'm sure that makes I'm sure that ha has an impact. You know, I, I think we're capable of having a good shooting night, um, you know, against almost any team, um, because I think we're we're, you know, we're somewhat built that way. Uh, but I, I give them a lot of credit. I give them a lot of credit for for their defense. And, um, you know, I, I felt like we were we were able to get some good shots. But again, we, we didn't make them. And a lot of credit goes to their defense. It was we had our hands full with with trying to make some shots and um, but yeah I thought they played um, you know they, they they did have long possessions uh, especially uh, you know maybe the last eight minutes or so of the game uh, and I think that was smart you know, they have good ball handlers they have uh, a, a good concepts on offense make us guard for a little bit of time you know we were a little bit fatigued for sure um, so I, I think that was. You know, I think especially for Mike with a with a younger team, I, th I think he wanted to, because their turnovers can be high. I, th I think he wanted to to make sure that th those possessions were a little bit more, um, a little bit more deliberate. We need to continue to play. Actually, we need we need you know a balance of playing and some rest now. Uh, you know, we've been back since Friday, uh, and we've been really. You know, I don't think we've been overdoing it with the guys, but after having a break, uh, we're trying to balance the idea of trying to get them to play, to, you know, and to be in there and to run and move and get them some rest. So I think what we can take is, um, you know, we, we did, we, we competed and there were some, there were some hustle plays and some good things like that. That's very good. Uh, we, again, forced a lot of turnovers in a game, which we've been good at. We had very few turnovers and I'm confident that we're going to make shots. A little bit of that is, a combination of a good defensive team fatigue, um, but I'm confident we will will improve and have a lot of basketball in front of us.